It is believed that spirits who do not find peace in afterlife or have an unnatural death remain on earth. On the 14th day of Krishna Bhokpo, the Bengali community celebrates Bhut Chaturdashi. Mm. On this night, we light 14 candles at her homes to appease the spirits of her past 14 generations of ancestors. It is believed that in the night before Kali Puja, the spirits of her ancestors descend upon earth and these lamps help them finding their loving homes. Many people have 14 kinds of leafy vegetables or chodosha so that the devil or the spirits cannot possess their body. In my house, I have lit 14 earthen lamps or diyas, but I did not consume any leafy vegetables and finding 14 kinds is quite difficult. Plus, I don't care. <laughs> Types of booths. Number one, Petni or Shaktuni. Petni are ghosts of unmarried women who have some unfinished desires and Shakchurni are ghosts of married women who usually wear shakha, that is bangles made of shells, very famous in Bengal. Damori, number two. Spiritual entities like Jogini, Jokini, Inuri, Budni are called Damori. A tantric mantra, Bhut Domar, can summon Damoris and use them to harm others. One common ritual in rural Bengal called Pan Mara is where the tantrics use demonic forces to kill a person. The victim is said to die by vomiting blood of death. Besho Bhut. Besho is derived from the word Bash, which in Bengali means bamboo. These ghosts live in bamboo gardens and one should not walk past these areas after dusk. Number four, Pacha Pechi, an unusual form of ghost that takes the form of an owl and haunt in the forests of Bengal. It follows helpless travelers through the woods until they are completely alone and then strikes. They feed on their victims just like that. Mecho Bhut. Mecho is the word derived from the word March, which means fish. These ghosts seed fish just like me. So these ghosts come and ask for fishes from fishermen or a lonely traveler who's carrying fish with them. It's quite bizarre and they Ask for fish with a nasal tone, like something like that, which basically means give me the fish. And Major Hood is the ultimate nightmare for any Bengali because we cannot live without our watch. Mamda Hood goes that kill people by twisting their necks. Gechobhut, ghosts that live in trees. Gecho comes from the word kach, which means tree. They are not a problem as long as you don't cut their trees. They are like environmentalists and I support them. Hashtag Gechobhut for president. Next comes Aleo or Atoshi. Unexplained strange lights observed over the marshes. They are glowing orbs of fire. These confused fishermen and lure them out and draw them into deep depths of water and drown them. They are irresistible. Bekobut. 
Bego comes from the word Bag, means tiger. These are ghosts of people who are killed or eaten by a tiger in Shundarbans. They frighten people who enter the jungle in search of honey or wood and try to bring them to face tigers or sometimes mimic tigers to terrify villages. They are the pranksters of Shundarbans, if you know what I mean. Skondokata or Kondhokata, headless ghosts. It is believed that they are ghosts of people who died by having their heads cut off by train or some other way. These ghosts are always in search of their missing men. They make slaves of the victims to find their heads. They are always looking out for their heads. Kanabulo The ghost hypnotizes the victims and lure them to unknown locations. These victims, instead of reaching their destination, find themselves in silent, eerie places. After that, they lose their senses. Lone travelers or people who are separated from their groups, usually other victims. Prapti, a Sanskrit word meaning to get something. Ghosts of girls who had more than one lover and suffered indecision. They committed suicide, thus getting their freedom. Prapti. It is said that after the girl dies, her lovers also commit suicide to be with her. Or Prapti haunts them and drives them to do so. The irony is that they still do not get to meet the girl. Thus, ghosts of lovers get stuck forever searching for their lover. Brombodoito, most popular ghost in Bengal who believe in Pelivans is the ghost of the Brahmins. Boba, meaning dumb, or one who cannot speak. Boba attacks victims by strangling them when they are asleep. People use this ghost term to understand sleep paralysis. Shikolbut, they dwell in water bodies. Young women who have committed suicide by drowning or were killed or forcefully drowned. She lures young men and take them into deep depths of waterways when they entangle their feet with their long wet hair and submerge them. Their eyes are without pupils. Nishi. I'm super scared of Nishi. They lure their victims with their irresistible voices by calling their names with the voices of loved ones. They will call you twice and once you respond to their irresistible voice, you get hypnotized. Follow the voice and you have never seen it. No one knows what happens to the victims. The voice of Nishi is called Nishita. If you want to be sure if it's Nishi who is calling you, you have to just wait. If your name is called thrice, then it's probably not Nishi. Because Nishi will only call you twice. Rakosh. They have, they have thick pointed fangs, sharp claws and supernatural strengths and magical abilities. I used to hear a lot about them in my fairy tales. They feed on humans and large animals. My grandparents used to tell me that these stories of fairy tales where Rakush used to say, and I quote, How mao khao manusher gondopao, which is a very silly thing but it means I smell humans and I want to eat them. And I used to get so scared when I was little. Kokkosh, the smaller version of Rakkosh. Pishakish, flesh-eating demonic entities. They usually haunt graveyards of creation brothers. They have the power of becoming invi invisible and they can also come out in various forms. Betal, vampire-like jinn. They use corpses as vehicles of movement. Indian tales for children had this amazing collection of stories called Vikram and Betal. And if you're a kid watching this video, I would recommend you to read that. Jokko, guardians of hidden treasure or wealth on earth. They are benevolent and bestow fertility and wealth upon devotees. 
All these ghosts become very strong during Gucho Tutushi. So strong that they can roam about looking like humans anywhere and you wouldn't know. They can possess or attack you. So today if you have known or noticed some stranger around you, who knows? The hell is empty. All the devils are here.